Who am I? The Dawn. I'm the bully from the bodega. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Silicon Valley, a combined weight of 370 pounds, Brendan and Danny Devine, the Millennials! Well, I think of divisions that have really been on fire in championship wrestling from Hollywood as of late. I really think the tag team division is really escalating. You think of the likes of Four Minutes of Heat, we saw uh, Connors and Dickie Mayer, extremely impressive. And now the Millennials back on the scene, but a little bit of a different roster here. You got Brendan Devine, who we've seen, along with his brother, Danny Devine. seeing the, the meaning of a new tandem here. There you see Papo Esco. He, he's not uh, shy of sharing his opinion. And, and he has you know, decided to team up here with Danny Limelight Rivera. Limelight Rivera had that close call time limit draw with Slice Boogie. And then that loss to BHK Kevin Martinson after his back had been attacked. But now Puerto Rican pride in excess here with Papo Esco and Danny Limelight. Look to be a force to be reckoned with here, Blake. Absolutely, you got a big boy and you got a fast flyer. This is a fantastic tag team right here. I'm interested to see how the millennials try and play this one out. You know, when asked recently about his style, the King Fat Boy, as he calls himself, Papo Esco says, I will mow my opponent till they stop moving. That seems like it's something right out of your playbook, Blake. I'm all about running people over, that's for sure. So early on in his time in the United Wrestling Network, Danny Limelight Rivera was synonymous with tag team wrestling. There's Primos Rivera, but has been a singles star for quite some time now. Look at the power here by Papo Esco. Nice back suplex there. He thought he had him controlled with that headlock and Papo just took him for a flight. Didn't go well there for Danny Devine. Might want to get on your phone, look up a YouTube tutorial on how you're going to take this big guy down. Not working so far. Pinpoint kick there by Limelight. I'm not sure there's tutorials on YouTube on how to fight a bear. <laughs> you can find just about anything. Foot stomp, pulling out all the stomps. And tag is made to Brendan Devine. Back inside the ring here in Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Good competitor, nice head scissors take down there. And good teamwork thus far for the team of Esco and Rivera. Oh, look out, big man, coming through. Big shot again, and you know, I talked about the tag team division, another division that has just been chaotic as of late. As we see the Tope Con Hilo from the outside inside has been the women's division. And the next chapter, as hold on, next chapter in that best of seven war between Heather Monroe, the Keller Bay, Lacey Ryan, coming up in our main event, jam packed episode. I'm really impressed with Limelight and uh, Pop Papo Esco so far. They've been doing a fantastic job of working together. And as I continue to say during tag team matches, it's not about your individual skill. It's how well you can work as a team. And these two guys already have a mojo. It might only be two minutes in the ring together, but they're working as a team. Shot there by Danny Devine from the outside, trying to divide and conquer, uses the top rope. Nicely done, high impact, might steal one here. Only a count of one. Tag is made, but now we're seeing some good tag team wrestling here from the Millennials. Going for the cover again, still only gets one. Hey, doesn't cost any more to try, Blake. Absolutely, they did it smart. As soon as they got a little bit of an advantage, they just continued the pressure and been putting it on Danny Limelight. That's what you gotta do. You see too many guys start to get ahead and let a guy recover. And the Millennials are not letting Limelight recover at all. Nice back suplex by Danny Devine into the cover, looking to put him away. I'd like to see the Millennials do a better job of keeping Danny in their own corner. He's close enough to Popo that a split technique could turn around and get that tag. 
That's a good point, Blake. And you don't want that big man in there. You don't want that big freight train coming your way. And I gotta believe, and again, we saw that the, the back was injured in that match with Kevin Martinson for, for uh, Limelight Rivera. And we don't know if he's 100%. So do you think that the Millennials want to try and isolate Rivera in there and take advantage? I absolutely would. If I had a choice between which of these two dudes I was trying to beat up with my friend, it wouldn't be Papa Usko, I'll tell you that much. Double cover, hold on here, some discretion there for the official. And, and Papa Esco knew that Limelight Rivera was in some trouble, brought the big man in for the save. Yeah, Limelight needed that helping hand there for a second, but he, Limelight has got to get out of that corner and back over to Papo so Papo can get back in this matchup. Tag team wrestling, such a fixture. Again, I was so impressed with Dickie Mayer, Clark Connors, that no-nonsense team that Crab into the knee strike was so impressive. The tag team division really picking up big shots in the back of the neck. That was a 12 to six elbow, illegal many times in the MMA cage, but uh, connected there by, by uh, Danny. Cover now after the suplex. He's turning it on here, Blake. Yeah, they're putting it on Danny. You can see he's holding his back again. That back has been taking more and more mileage in all Danny's last matchups. Got a pair of Dannys in there. Danny Devine looking pretty good in there with Limelight Rivera, who scores with the Enziguri. You can hear it echo off the walls. The Ocean View Pavilion maybe going to buy some time. He does. Choo-choo. Oh, free train coming down the tracks. Tries to get to the back and now trying to divide and conquer. Double teaming. Good luck. Millennials gonna try and take the big man down, just too much power. Power personified for Papo Esco. Runs right through that double clothesline attempt. Oh, caught him sleeping. Double DDT, little head and shoulder fake there, Blake. Absolutely, that was impressive. Papo's got some moves, man. He's a big boy, but he has got some moves. Kind of like feigning a strike and then setting up a, a, a counter punch. 100%, very strategic. Limelight in there, going downstairs, and the big man goes upstairs with the cross body. Good luck getting out from under that. How fast that turned around. The team of Danny Limelight Rivera and Pablo Esco. So this union for Danny Limelight Rivera with Papo Esco puts him back in the win column for the first time in a, in a number of attempts. So it might be just what the doctor ordered for Limelight. Interesting dynamic of a matchup here with the, such a big guy and a high flyer like Danny Limelight. I'm a big fan of this team right here. Puerto Rican pride, Puerto Rican power, getting it done. Another impressive tag team on the scene. Other teams better take note. And our broadcast colleague, John Roberts.